my index is poor, how do I make a full scan queries faster? Now just to flesh this question out a bit more as to how it came in, indexes are great when I've got a small amount of data to query. And obviously there's myths that go around about what that percentage is, but let's just say I've got a nice small selected piece of data out of a large table, an index is generally gonna be the best way to do it. Or there's the exact opposite, which is, I've got some stuff which means there's absolutely no one, you know, no one of use, no indexes of use. I've, I'm, you know, I've got a, a, for example, a table that only has two distinct values and it's evenly distributed across both. And then there's just sort of this middle ground, this, this, sort, of, this sort of catch 22 where you can get stuck, which is let's say I've got a table of customer details or well, let's say customer transactions. So for a given customer, there's lots and lots of rows. If I'm doing where customer equals 123, let's say it gets about that blue percentage of the table. And I'm guessing there are about 20% of the number of blocks in the table need to be accessed to get customer ID 23. How do we solve that? Because we're sort of in this awkward situation where it's too much data to access it with an index. If I do an index on customer ID, scanning 20% of all the blocks is probably gonna be slower than a full table scan. But it's too big for a full table scan. I mean, I have to do a full table scan in this particular case, but it's a problem in the sense that it doesn't meet my business requirements of how, you know, my queries are taking too long to run. So I'm sort of in this stuck in the situation of someone says, put an index on it. There is one already, it makes it too, it makes it slower. Oh, we'll do a full table scan, that's too slow. You know, what are some of the options that I can do to tackle these sort of awkward boundary cases where indexes aren't good enough, full table scans aren't good enough? This will take a bit, I'm creating a table now which is 10 copies of DBA objects. I'm using select one from Jewel. Mod row num comma eight slash tag means I'm creating a column called tag. It's only gonna have eight distinct values, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And because I'm using mod, it's gonna be evenly distributed. That's what this query was going to show. DBA objects is about 80,000 rows times by 10, 800,000 rows. So I've got about 100,000 rows of each individual tag. Now I'm gonna create an index on that column, that column called tag, and I'm gonna do some queries on it. Here's my first query, select star from T where the tag equals two. Now because this data, there's only eight distinct values of tag, so it's about 12% of the table, and those values are scattered throughout the table, Oracle has correctly said to me, you know, that index is gonna be useless. I'm gonna do a table access full. So the optimizer has actually got it correct. Let's give it a run, see what that costs. 22,000 IOs for that full table scan. Now, obviously it's nice and snappy. I'm not gonna bore you guys with 30 second response times, but you get the idea. I might be thinking 22,000 IOs is a problem. Now I might say, well, let's, I've got that index, let's force the index on it. Well, it's actually worse. In fact, that's why the optimizer stayed away from it. It's actually another 5,000 IOs on top of it just to get that data. So I'm sort of stuck as I suggested in the slides. A full table scan is too slow. An index scan is worse. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna work around this? I just thought I'd show some examples of where you might choose to actually get some benefits here. Here's my first suggestion to you, and obviously this requires the partitioning option. I'm gonna alter the table, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna partition it on the tag column. I'm gonna choose 16 partitions, I could choose any power of two, doesn't really matter. I'll do it online because I have the luxury of running 12.2. Now when I rerun my query, you can see I've actually cut the amount of physical IO down dramatically. I wanted to stress this because people often think of partitioning as only in regard to date-based data, for archival, being able to segment off data, or you know, coming up with smaller manageable size chunks. But it's amazing how there are so many uses for partitioning just to solve actually full table scan issues. I call this poor man's exadata. You know, exadata has storage level compression, storage indexes, etc. Hash partition, it's baking up a large table into lots of little small chunks such that I can full scan those small chunks more efficiently. So that's pretty cool. So if you have a partitioning option, don't just think about it in terms of, oh, I only th partitioning for me is only about historical data. Sometimes carving up a big object into smaller objects can actually be very, very useful. I've obviously bypassed two important things here. Number one is it's a licensed option. You gotta pay for it. And so I'd suggest this only if you already have the partitioning option or whether the actual benefits outweigh um, the actual cost. That's the same with any option in types of any product. You know, what are you, what are you prepared to pay for it? as much as it benefits you, the organization. The other problematic thing with this approach is when you partition a table, well, you've dramatically changed the structure. And in this particular case, this particular query is now a lot more efficient. That's fantastic. But what have I done to other queries? What have I done to the rest of the system? And so you generally need a fair bit of careful testing to make sure that this 
task of partitioning it hasn't actually caused damage elsewhere in the applications. You know, as a result, you may keep the global indexes and therefore limit that damage, but if you may move to say so local indexes, you've actually changed the underlying physical design fairly significantly, and you might want to be um, very aware of that. Let's recreate my table now. And so I may not have a partitioning option, or I may have thought, well, it's actually too much risk profile. This is something else which I think is really cool. This new one, which is came in in 12 point, might be 12.1, I think, if not definitely 12.2, you can take a table and add an attribute called clustering. And I've chosen linear clustering here, but there's also um, a couple other options as well, but we'll stick with the simple one. And what we're really telling the database is that in a perfect world, we'd like all the tags with this common value to be housed together in the table. Sort of like partitioning, but without actually going to the partitioning option. Now, just doing add clustering by has no impact on the existing data. It only applies to direct operations. But with 12.2, where you can do so much stuff online, the thing I like about this is, here's my table, tags are scattered all over the place. I add clustering by linear data. I can move it online. You know, take a quiet period, move it online. I haven't interrupted the service in any way, shape or form. All my indexes stay updated as well. Regather some stats, that's just my monthly stats job running. Now let's see, I've forced a full hint here on my tag equals two, it's still at 22,000 IOs. Now I use an index hint and it's stopped from being far worse than a full scan to actually being significantly better than a full scan. Now I haven't actually changed the index. The benefit I've got is, is that an index key on the tag now, when it points to a particular block in the database, lots of other entries for the same tag are going to be co-located in that block because I've clustered the data. That's what that alter add clustering has done. It's effectively like reloading the data in a nice sorted order without ever taking it offline from anyone. This is another option in terms of, I had an index that was too slow, so I had to use full table scan. Well, if I can make the index better by shifting the data, then maybe using the index becomes more attractive again. So there's another example of how you can make what I'll call a full table scan, in this case, flip over to an index scan but actually get a benefit as opposed to making things worse. So partitioning is a good option if you're licensed for it, but if not, look at these 12 features for shuffling your data around in an online fashion to get benefit for queries later on. And I think that's probably a vastly underused facility. Now you might be thinking, I'm stuck on 11.2 or 12.1 and I can't do these online operations. You can do similar things using DBMS redefinition. You can't add the clustering attribute, but if you look at the DBMS redefinition API, there's actually a sorting clause for the DBMS redefinition. So you can actually reload data in a sorted fashion to get similar benefits.